Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to quickly walk you through the steps on how you go about investing in cryptocurrencies such as Dogecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. in the Robinhood application. So what we need is to have buying power. You can see I have a little bit of buying power right here. And to get this, we need to link up our bank account and then transfer funds over. So to do this, we're going to click on our little profile image in the bottom right hand corner. And then on our profile page in the upper right hand corner, there's these three horizontal lines. Click on those to open up the menu. And on the menu, we want to click on where it says transfers. And if you have not already done so, this is the page where you can link up your bank account. So if you scroll down in the linked accounts area, click on the little plus sign where it says add new account. And then you can link up your online bank using Plaid through the Robinhood app. At that point, you're going to want to transfer to Robinhood. So transfer money from your bank to your Robinhood account. If we click on that, we can enter in how much funds that we'd like to transfer. Maybe you want to transfer over $100. You can enter that in and then click on this green check mark. And then at that point, you can review and confirm this deposit, and it's going to send those funds from your bank account over to the Robinhood app. So now going back to the homepage, when you transfer funds over, it's going to be put into your buying power. So you can see how much buying power you have right in this area. And that's the money that we can use to invest in crypto. So now at this point, towards the bottom of the page, we're going to click on this little magnifying glass here in the middle. And to find cryptocurrencies, we can access these in the trendings list. Just find where it says crypto and select that. Also, you can search for different cryptocurrencies up here in the search bar area if you'd like to search for it through those means. But I'm just going to go ahead and click on the crypto option here in the trending list. And that's going to list all of the different cryptocurrencies that are available to invest in in the Robinhood app. So let's say maybe we wanted to buy some Bitcoin. So I'm going to select the Bitcoin option right here. And if this is the first time you're investing in cryptocurrency in the Robinhood app, you're going to have to go through a questionnaire to set up your crypto investing account. It's not a big deal. It's about five to ten questions or so. But you can access these questions by clicking the buy option on the cryptocurrency that you'd like to invest in. And I've already set up my crypto investing account. But again, you're just going to have to go through a questionnaire and then review and agree to the terms and conditions. And then at that point on this investing page, we can enter in how much that we'd like to invest in the cryptocurrency that we had selected. So maybe I want to buy $10 worth of Bitcoin. So I enter in 10 and then I can click review. And then we can look over and double check everything to make sure it checks out. We have 10 US dollars that I'm going to be investing in the current estimated price of Bitcoin and how much Bitcoin that this is. It's a very small amount. But then once everything checks out, we can swipe up from the bottom to submit. And then it says Bitcoin order complete. And then it's just going to have a recap of the amount that you had invested, how much you had purchased. And then you can click OK at the bottom to go back to the previous page. So I hope this video is helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how you go about investing in cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin in the Robinhood app. And again, guys, if this is your first time investing in crypto in Robinhood, you're going to have to go through that questionnaire to set up your crypto investing account. But that shouldn't take you more than maybe a couple of minutes, and you should be good to go at that point in time. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.